Wow, that really is incredible. Who better to entrust with taking the Vision GT Coupe that's already racing in the game and just take it to that next level than the special vehicle operations team. And I'm delighted to say that joining me now, I've got Jamal Hamidi, the engineering director for SVO, and Oli Cattell Ford. You have been responsible for designing the exterior of this car. Jamal, just starting with you, my goodness, this car is huge. It's, it is, it's absolutely epic. And as wonderful as it looks, the, the technical specs on this car are really just mind blowing. It's got a huge, massive lithium ion battery. It's got four motors, one on each wheel, almost 2000 PS, 3500 kilowatt or Newton meters of torque zero to 60 and 1.65 seconds. 1.65 seconds, how could you possibly know that? Well, one of the really cool things is that we have used the same tools that we use in our production cars to develop this car in the virtual world. So whether it's our CFD analysis for aerodynamics or lap time and acceleration projections, uh, we, we can uh, project the performance envelope of this car fairly accurately. And it must be fantastic for guys like you as well to be involved in a project like this where there are just simply no rules. There's no budgets, there's no racing regulations. It's, it's a dream and you know, you're really only limited by the creativity inside your brain. And talking of creativity, Ollie, wow. I mean, you have designed an absolute stunning car here. I mean, where did you start with a project like this? Yeah, thank you, Amanda. Obviously, there's a, it's a massive team effort to create something like this. And the, the starting point for this car was, um, was the Gran Turismo Vision Coupe that we released last, last Christmas sort of time. Um, and, and we just, the first thing we did when that car came out was just play it for hours and hours, probably way too long, actually, um, and, and really get a feel for how the, how the car turned out in the game. Um, and, and from that, we, we then, the car came out it was launched and we saw this amazing content created by the gamers. So we had these YouTube videos reviewing this, uh, our last car. And, and we took all of this, all these learnings, all this feedback, and we wanted to create something even better. Um, and so this is it, this is our, our endurance race car. And um, so the, the key to, to making this happen, uh, to create this amazing aerodynamics package, was really to get the SV guys on board. Um, and do what they do best uh, and make this work in the real world as well as the virtual world. Now, I mean, it's a stunning piece of work, but we can't talk about what the car looks like without mentioning this absolutely enormous rear wing. Yeah, I mean, that's it. That's, that's the first thing you notice from the last car is this big rear wing. And we, we really, we, we love this design theme that my colleague Julio created. And it's the idea that you have the sculpture from the body side of the car runs through to the aerodynamics package. And uh, so we, we took that and we worked with the SV team to actually get these, these real world aerodynamic sections and make it really work. It looks absolutely incredible. And the livery as well is, is beautiful. It's a sort of circuit board, is it? Yeah, so obviously we're so inspired by our, our Formula E and electric racing series. Um, and so we really want to celebrate that with this sort of electric circuit board livery. And at the same time, it has these links to our heritage. So we have the, um, the dates dotted around the car. They're actually the, the dates that our, our heritage race cars came out. Okay, so, and so you, that carries on all the way through the car, I guess, to the front as well? Yeah, and throughout the car, we, we've linked our heritage into it. So uh, the, the front fenders, for instance, they really reference the shapes that we had on our C-type Jaguar. Well, it is absolutely incredible. Congratulations to both of you. But now the question that's on everybody's lips is what is it like to actually race an electric car? Well, I'm delighted to say that I have the man here to tell me, Sam Bird. Sam, welcome. Now you have just recently joined Jaguar Racing and this is gonna be your car this year. You've been involved with Formula E since the very beginning. What's it like to race an electric car? Hi, Amanda. F firstly, I'd like to take the time to congratulate the, the guys here because they've created an absolute beast. Um, it looks absolutely incredible, guys. Well done. Um, to drive a Formula E car is challenging, exciting, fast. Um, handling 250 kilowatts underneath my right foot certainly takes a lot of skill, especially on the fact that we're only racing on city circuits. 
250 kilowatts, you've got one motor, you've got four motors <laughs> in that. Yeah, one on each axle. That's going to be a serious challenge for everybody playing on Gran Turismo. This car is going to be an absolute beast in a straight line. And uh, I can't wait to, to see what it's like in the game. But you're not unused to trialling new things, new technologies in your race car, are you? What's quite exciting, actually, Amanda, is that there's technology already coming from the iType 5 and going into the, uh, into the virtual world in, in the game. Um, there's a fibre called Type Fibre that we've used in my race seat for this season that is actually used in this car as well, which is really, really exciting. The fact that Jaguar is using you know, real life and, and going to futuristic projects. Now, we've just heard about how this car, they can simulate just how fast this is going to be. You're very used to using simulators in the world of racing. I mean, it wasn't that long ago that drivers were actually using Gran Turismo to learn circuits that they would soon be racing at. I was one of those drivers, Amanda. I used to use Gran Turismo back in the day on my PlayStation to, 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 to learn the circuits. Nowadays, uh, along with Jaguar Racing, I use their state-of-the-art simulator to learn the circuits and to help improve our race car to make it go faster. But the technology now is so good on these games and the graphics is so good that it is really, really close now to what we use as our state-of-the-art simulator. So the gaming world has really come on leaps and bounds in the last decade. And a final word on the Vision GT SV? The final word on this car, I mean, I wish I had the keys. If I had the keys to it, I'd go out and I'd drive it to the absolute maximum. But I guess I'm going to have to, uh, to just wait and drive it on Gran Turismo. <laughs> well, I also cannot wait to get my hands on it and have a go as well. And the GT SV is going to be coming to Gran Turismo in 2021.